um, at the bombing time. We were in the Canishes, there was a grocery shop there we always attended. And Mum, my sister and I were coming back just to come in the door home. But we were in the road and we heard planes coming across. So I know I had a cucumber in my hand. So oh, planes, three planes waving the old cucumber. And then we saw the German sign and then the bombing machine gunning straight away. So we ran into the house on the right, which is a big house opposite where we were. And we ran down uh, to the cellar and several people followed us as well because they were coming home from work. So we went down to the, down in the cellar and that's where we stayed. And it was very frightening. Um, it was so close because we were only sort of one street away from the harbour and it lasted, it must have lasted over an hour. It was really frightening. The ladies and the men were there. Um, we didn't, well, we just sensed that if something was going to come out of it and the Germans, well, we didn't know if they were going to bomb the island in general. And there was, uh, uh, the house we were at got hit up the top. Um, it was mostly glass, but I was, it was tri uh, sort of trembling. And we came up and we looked over the sea wall, the wall, there was a sea wall in the road and looked out and we could see all the flames and hear the shout, there was shouting, you could hear that and smoke and everybody was so scared really. And my father was especially scared because he said to my mother when we got indoors, he said, Reg is still down there, the cripple was down the harbour. And we wondered how he could get anywhere for shelter because he had, he had difficulty walking. Um, but eventually he came home very, very sad because he knew so many of the people that had been there at the time. All these tomatoes wagons that were queuing up for export because tomatoes were our main export at the time. But the Germans said afterwards they thought it was all ammunitions. But all the people that sheltered, the men sheltered underneath, they were burned to death really. It was an awful thing. And even the ambulances were bombed, were fired at and the, the coxswain's son on the lifeboats died as well. I mean, 35 killed and many, many injured. So it was, it was a frightening time. Didn't know quite what was going to happen the next day or the next day.